Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tay. I'm such a lover of beauty and makeup and I love to create lifestyle content. So why don't you stick around, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the family. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Video. So today's video is about creating a starter makeup kit. Here's a little bag that I normally carry with me. This is my everyday makeup in here. And I'm going to tell you some of my favorites that are very, very affordable. You don't have to break your bank. You can get a full face of makeup as a kit to contain within a bag. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Firstly, I'm going to start off with the most simple and basic necessity that you are going to need if you are doing a full face of makeup. That is a makeup sponge, ta-da! It's the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. This is one sponge that will not let you down. As you can see, this is a dirty one that I've just used. So when you wet it, it becomes a little bit bigger in size. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. The porous texture of it helps you get a blurred, smooth foundation finish. When you wash the sponge with soap, it washes very, very well because of the sponge texture. If you're a beginner, get a sponge instead of a brush because sponges are much easier to use and give you a smoother finish. Second thing is a priming spray. Now this is the Serenity Priming Spray from Primark. When you've done your moisturizer, your serum, you need a barrier on your face before you start putting your makeup on. That barrier is going to stop any makeup from being absorbed into the pores of your skin. And this is a good priming spray and it smells good too. You can use this as a hydrating mist after your makeup as well. There is one foundation for all different skin types that I have found it's excellent in terms of its price range and accessibility. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. Whether you have oily skin, combination skin, dry skin, this foundation will not let you down. It makes your skin look flawless, fresh, gives you a good amount of coverage without making you look like you've got makeup on. Try it. One concealer, if I had to choose to take with me anywhere, is the Flower Beauty Concealer. This concealer, I can close my eyes and swear by that it will not let me down. It doesn't crease under my eyes. It has a good amount of coverage. It actually keeps your under eyes hydrated. This won't let you down. When we're talking about powders, combination with this concealer, this powder is amazing. This is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Powder. I have used a combination of both of these today, along with the L'Oreal foundation. I've used a wet sponge. I've gone in under my eyes. It's actually translucent if I show you. Can you see? It's really nice and it's affordable. When it comes to bronzer and highlighter, I'm going to mention one product that has not let me down and I've loved this product so much, even more than some of my high-end bronzers and highlighters. It's this Sculpt and Glow palette from Revolution Pro. I have mine in Desert Sky. There's different shade for different skin tones available. Mine is very well loved. I've hit pan on both sides. The colour of the bronzer, it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just the perfect amount. The highlighter itself, it's so creamy. I don't know if you can see. You can have it very subtle, glow from within, or you can build it up and make it look a bit more glowy. It's so, so, so creamy. I would recommend this to be in your base kit this will not let you down and you get a lot of product in here it will last you quite a while I've just been told that some of you are watching haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to become part of the family <laughs> When it comes to blushes, no one can beat the price for MUA. MUA blushes, these flower ones especially, they are so beautiful. This one is in the shade Papaya Whip. I have it on my face today. So, so, so beautiful. I think light to medium skin tones can actually wear this. Next recommendation for you is lip liners. These 
are the PS lip liners from Primark. I can't get over how Primark has managed to do such amazing lip liners. They are so creamy, they are so beautiful, the colours are on point, they're pigmented opaque. I've had these in the shade, Toffee is this brown one, Velvet Touch is like a brown pinky nude and Rumour is like a pink nude. For a drugstore starter kit, you need to go to Primark and grab one of these colours because they are beautiful. Talking of Primark, if you are looking for some lipsticks, the Primark Luster lipsticks, pick them up as well. They're £1.50. They are so moisturising on the lips and the colour of these lipsticks, guys, look at that. That's the nude one. It is so, so, so beautiful. This is the red one. It's slightly sheeny than a normal lipstick. It's not matte, but that's the good thing about these lipsticks. They are so moisturizing. Even if you are struggling with dry lips or chap lips, these lipsticks won't make your lips dry. And if anything, they will actually make your lips feel a bit more hydrated. They are that good and they smell good too. If you are after a liquid lipstick, then I can't recommend the Rimmel Stay Matte liquid lipsticks enough. This shade in particular is in the shade Mocha. They stay on your lips all day. I normally pair them with a lip balm underneath and they glide on very very easily. Today what I'm wearing on my lips is a combination of Toffee lip liner from Primark, this lipstick in Mocha from Rimmel. In the middle I've gone in with the Luster lipstick from Primark shade Uptown. This is a combination that I'm wearing along with one more product which is a gloss. I'm going to show you now. This gloss from Essence, this is what I have on my lips. These glosses are not sticky, they're not gritty, you can't feel the glitter or shimmer on there. They are beautiful and affordable. So if you can get your hands on the Essence gloss, these are really, really, really nice. Like you see, I've got it on and it looks so beautiful. If you are a beginner when it comes to doing eyebrows and you just want a basic starter kit, the PS Brow Sketch. It's just a micro brow pencil. It's a very thin pencil that you can use to create brow hair. You can get this in different colours. This is only £2 from Primark. It has enough product in there to last you a little while and it comes with a spoolie on the other end. Just like any other high-end brow pencil, this is a good one to start practicing and drawing your eyebrows with. Talking of eyebrows, we are talking about Make Me Brow from Essence. If you're not someone who wants to sit there and draw little eyebrow hairs with a micro brow pencil and you just want a brow gel that you can just run through your eyebrows. This is a really nice brow gel. It comes with a little tiny brush and what you do is you just run it through your eyebrows. It has little fibres in the gel. It will brush in the little fibres with your eyebrow hair to make your eyebrows look more fluffier and thicker. It's a very subtle eyebrow gel but it has enough pigment, enough fibres to give you a fuller brow. If you don't want to go in with any other eyebrow product, this is one that you definitely definitely can get away with just by brushing it through your eyebrows and you're good to go. I'm almost there. When we come to mascaras, mascara is one of the most important things that everybody uses nowadays. The Maybelline Lash Lift Mascara. This is an all year rounder. I can actually build this up on my eyelashes to make it look like I have eyelashes on. It doesn't crumble on my eyelashes. This is a good mascara to have. It's a lot of product in there and it will last you a long time and it's affordable. I want to mention two eyeshadow palettes. If you are someone who is just getting into eyeshadow, I would say start with neutral colours because neutral colours will not let you down. You can wear neutral colours on any occasion. And I would recommend you pick up the Mixed Metals Nude Palette from Profusion. This is what it looks like. It comes with four shimmers and five mattes. If I just show you what these shimmers look like, the formula on these is so so good. So look at the shimmer formula and this is the matte formula. Can you see how creamy they are? 
I don't know if you can see, the camera is not doing justice, but they are so reflective, so creamy, so quattery. They blend so easily on the eyes. And if you're a beginner, you need something that will blend easily on your eyes. If you are someone who wants a little bit more color, but you want an affordable palette that will give you a good formula, good amount of colors, and something that is wearable, then I would recommend this palette. This is Kami's collaboration with Revolution and I can't speak enough about this palette and how good this palette is. It comes with a mirror and it comes with all these shimmer formulas. These are all like putty formulas similar to the ones that you get in Colourpop Super Shock Shadows. If you press into them, it creates a dent. They're like so soft and buttery. This one here is a duochrome shade. It has a pink and blue reflect to it. It's so beautiful. The colours that Kami has chosen are the muted versions of exciting colours that you can wear on a daily basis. And the formula of these shimmers, it is one of the best formulas that Revolution has ever done. Hands on heart, this is a beautiful palette. Well done, Kami. Now finally, these are for those people who want a starter kit but also want some eyelashes. I've got you covered, girl. I've got you covered. A lot of people will recommend the Ardell Wispies or Ardell Demi Wispies to you. They are very nice lashes but they're more for everyday kind of lash, a more natural looking lash you can experiment with. They're very good but if you're looking for eyelashes that will pack a little bit of punch because you want to wear it where you're going out or you're going to an event and you want a little bit more drama on your eyes I would ask you to explore the Essence eyelashes, which comes in a box like this. Now I'm wearing the Essence eyelashes on my eyes, as you can see. Look how beautiful they look. So fluttery. This is in the style Limitless. It comes with a little glue, and the glue looks a bit like this. It comes with like a little spatula, so you can just brush it on, um, on top of your eyelash. These eyelashes are reusable, so you, you can use these eyelashes multiple multiple times and there is enough glue in there to last you a little while. They're very, very affordable. You can get different styles in these eyelashes. You won't be let down. So guys, this was all my recommendations for the products. If you're someone who's a beginner and you want to start exploring makeup, you want a full face of makeup that you can just fit into one bag and have it to hand whenever you want to do your makeup. You don't want to splurge too much money. I know it gets very confusing because there's so many beauty and makeup products out there and a lot of them you don't know whether they're any good or not. These products that I've shown you today, you will not regret spending your money on those. I have tried to keep the price range as low as possible. If this helps you out, please do leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are, if you've tried any of these products and what you think about them. Also, don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.